How should running shoes fit? My name's Audie with Fleet Feet, and today we're gonna give you some tips and tricks on exactly what to look out for. Finding the proper fit is more than just about comfort. Ill-fitting footwear can lead to injuries long-term, blisters in the short-term, and even black toenails as you're building your miles. Not every single brand runs true to size, not every style runs true to size either, so it's important to be open to testing everything out, going half size up sometimes, going half size down sometimes, knowing every year they're gonna update the shoe just like a car. The new model's gonna come out, the fit's gonna be tweaked. So it's super important, always test the shoe out regardless even if it's the same color to make sure you're getting the proper fit. Now that you're laced up, we're gonna focus on three key areas of the fit. Toes, midfoot, and heel. Let's start with the proper toe fit. More often than not, individuals are gonna have one foot that's longer than the other, so it's super important to focus on the longer foot and make sure on that foot you have anywhere from a half thumbs width to a full thumbs width off the end of that shoe. It'll give your toes a little bit of room to breathe. Another key component of proper fit is a midfoot lockdown, and that essentially is the middle portion of the upper material and how it wraps the foot proper fitting footwear, it's gonna be comfortably snug to the point where your foot's not sliding from to back or side to side or up and down. A lot of times ill-fitting footwear, if your foot's sitting too low and or the shoe's too deep, you're gonna see the laces kind of bunched up really tight and close together, where on the opposite end, if it's maybe too shallow of a shoe for your foot, you're gonna feel a lot of pressure through the top end. Another key component of the proper fit is a heel lockdown and what's referred to as a heel cup, which is the mole on the back side of the shoe, these come wider or more narrow. The point of this is to lock your foot into place on top of that better cushion. So in addition to that, making sure you get the proper fitted heel, of course, is important, but if necessary, you can even go back to the last lace hole to snug up the heel to give you a little bit more secure fit if necessary. Do you need to break a shoe in? Well, the answer is, it depends. A lot of times the cushioning in a shoe will be softer and or firmer. So depending on where you are in that spectrum, sometimes the firmer stuff is gonna soften up over time where the softer stuff is gonna feel exactly like that through the life of the shoe. So the most important part is right out of the box, you want it to be comfortable for you. So what is comfort? Well, it depends on who you're asking. A lot of times, all of these brands can use different kinds of foams. Some are firmer, some are softer, some are bouncier. So it really depends on your preference. Be open to testing out multiple in order to find exactly what you like and maybe what you don't like. So now that we've covered a few tips on the proper fit of the shoe, make sure you visit your local fleet feet, get sized, explore options, and get out the door. There's plenty of comfortable miles ahead for you. taking care of your toenails to make sure those things are kept. You don't know it! <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Okay. And some that are wider. Yeah, sure. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Good night. I'm on this educational journey. Yeah. <laughs> this is where this shoe wraps through the oh, fuck.